We all do it every day. We dispose of waste from homes, offices, factories, bags, wheelie bins, skips, and trucks of rubbish of every conceivable material and object. In an hour, enough rubbish is produced in the UK to fill the Albert Hall, which isn't a particularly pleasant thought and gives a small indication of the scale of the problem, one we don't give thought to whenever we fill our wheelie bins. Of course, if we have to throw things away, we try to recycle them, to put them back into the materials chain that supplies manufacturing industries of every type. And it's a fact that we're getting better at this. We call the process the waste hierarchy. Another way of describing it is the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. This is where Grundon have positioned themselves for over 50 years of environmentally friendly waste management in the UK, using the most technologically advanced systems. They do this in what are called MRFs, or Materials Recovery Facilities. We call them MRFs. The Tan House MRF, one of four facilities that Grundon operate in the UK, has the great advantage that it doesn't need to receive segregated waste. It's mixed recyclables which are processed at the MRF, relieving customers of an otherwise complex and space-consuming problem. It starts with those familiar blue collection trucks full of mixed recyclables, over 100,000 tonnes of it each year, which deliver materials to the facility where it's loaded into a receiving bunker. Then it's about sorting, that is separating the mixed recyclables into individual material streams. At the start, revolutionary red wave infrared auto sorters identify materials and gradually channel them into respective streams, sending them into the sorting process on conveyors. Magnetic and eddy current separators extract ferrous and non-ferrous metals. The magnetic process involves a belt that attracts steel and other metals containing iron. What is known as an eddy current separator containing spinning magnets sends non-ferrous metals such as aluminium off the conveyor. This is backed up by manual sorting to find items missed by the mechanical processes. Then the now sorted recyclables, paper, cardboard, plastic, cans and glass, are conveyed into separate bunkers. Two high-density baling machines compress the materials into bales, ready to transport to reprocessing plants, where they are ultimately fed back into industry as raw materials. When waste reaches the last stage where it can't be recycled, when it would normally go to a landfill site, we call this residual waste. This is where we add another R for recover, or put more precisely, energy recovery. In Grundon's case, it's trucked to their neighbouring lakeside energy from waste facility where it becomes fuel for furnaces that power steam turbines to generate electricity. So it comes full circle, part of an endless cycle of use and reuse, a process that sustains the countryside and reduces waste to landfill. The Tanhouse Murph is part of Grundon's commitment to making our country a better, cleaner place.